Behold now she follows the Lamb who was crucified for us, powerful in virginity, modesty her offering, a sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the Virgin Mother, St. Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray, for she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as of sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves, for you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. 
Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John said, had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and a holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed. Yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I'll grant it to you. He even saw many things to her. I'll grant you whatever you ask of me, even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back, to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. That was a very beautiful episode from the Gospel of St. Mark that we had. You know, John the Baptist was uh, trying to rebuke and uh, warn Herod against his misdeeds. And uh, as a result, he was beheaded because of, you know, speaking the truth. In the same line of thought, today's um, feast, uh, today we celebrate the memory of St. Agatha, a virgin and martyr 
who died in defense of the truth, the truth of the gospel and the truth and uh, her chastity. And in fact, there are saints in the church whose stories are heartbreaking and overly challenging. And one of these is Saint Agatha, whose memorial we celebrate. Saint Agatha, as I said, died in defense of her purity in Catania in Sicily, where she was born. After Quintanus, the governor of Sicily, tried in vain to force her to consent to sin, the sin of impurity, she was imprisoned for a month with an evil woman. He then turned from sensuality to cruelty and had her breasts cut off. During these tortures, Agatha prayed, saying, for, the, for love of chastity, I am made to hang from the rack. Help me, O Lord my God, as they knife my breasts. Agatha rebuked the governor for his barbarity saying, Godless, cruel, infamous tyrant, are you not ashamed to despoil a, a woman of that by which your own mother nursed you? The executioner should have thought twice upon hearing this statement. But anyway, he went on and knifed off her breasts. But that night, Agatha was healed by St. Peter in a miraculous way. Nevertheless, the governor insisted that she worship the gods, uh, which prompted another confession of faith in Christ from Agatha. Then an order of the governor, by the order of the governor, Agatha was rolled over the pieces of grass and sharp stones and burning coals, and then standing amid uh, the prison, and with outstretched arms, she prayed to God, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, good master, I give you thanks that you granted me victory over the executioner's tortures. Grant now that I may happily dwell in your never-ending glory. Thereupon she died. And her name appears in the Roman canon. So such was the terrible torture Agatha endured. Obviously, God does not require you and I to endure the same, but he definitely wants us to constantly deny ourselves of lustive desires, lustive thoughts, impure actions, and every other evil inclination. To deny ourselves of these uh, pleasurable acts is what God wants us to do. And sometimes this type of self-denial may seem as challenging and painful as martyrdom and might as well appear to be endless. That's what Pope Pius XII called an endless or constant martyrdom. But if we trust in God and fight tirelessly to the end, we shall equally win the crown of martyrdom with St. Agatha. May she pray for us. Amen. With the trust in God's loving will, let us make our request known to him. For all members of the church, may God bless us in the service of his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may God grant them fortitude and strength in choosing to promote the dignity of all human life. We pray to the Lord. For the lonely and despairing among us, may they know God's love and consolation in the midst of their trials. We pray to the Lord. For this family of faith, may the Lord develop within our hearts of love and stewardship to draw us ever closer to him. We pray to the Lord. 
for our beloved dead, especially Ilzi Il Merdues, for whom this Mass is offered, may they soon come before the Lord and rejoice in his eternal presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the special and personal petitions that we present in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, hear our prayers and pour out your grace upon us. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed mother, Agatha, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without the end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, Eduardo his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Agatha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior is commanded and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed.
The Lamb who is at the center of the throne, we lead them to the springs of the waters of life. Let us pray. O oh God, who bestowed on blessed Agatha a crown among the saints for the twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant we pray through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all other evil spirits who pour about the word, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you.